In linear algebra, an eigenvector or characteristic vector of a linear transformation is a non-zero vector that changes by only a scalar factor when that linear transformation is applied to it. More formally, if T is a linear transformation from a vector space V over a field F into itself and V is a vector in V that is not the zero vector, then V is an eigenvector of T if T v is a scalar multiple of V. This condition can be written as the equation T V equals lambda V display style T math BF V equals lambda math BF V where lambda is a scalar in the field F known as the eigenvalue characteristic value or characteristic root associated with the eigenvector V if the vector space V is finite dimensional, then the linear transformation T can be represented as a square matrix A, and the vector V by a column vector, rendering the above mapping as a matrix multiplication on the left hand side and a scaling of the column vector on the right hand side in the equation A V equals lambda V Display style a math bf v equals lambda math bf v. There is a direct correspondence between n by n square matrices and linear transformations from an n-dimensional vector space to itself, given any basis of the vector space. For this reason, it is equivalent to define eigenvalues and eigenvectors using either the language of matrices or the language of linear transformations. Geometrically, an eigenvector, corresponding to a real non zero eigenvalue, points in a direction that is stretched by the transformation, and the eigenvalue is the factor by which it is stretched. If the eigenvalue is negative, the direction is reversed. Overview Eigenvalues and eigenvectors feature prominently in the analysis of linear transformations. The prefix eigen is adopted from the German word eigen for «proper», «characteristic». Originally utilized to study principal axes of the rotational motion of rigid bodies, eigenvalues and eigenvectors have a wide range of applications, for example in stability analysis, vibration analysis, atomic orbitals, facial recognition, and matrix diagonalization. In essence, an eigenvector V of a linear transformation T is a non-zero vector that, when T is applied to it, does not change direction. Applying T to the eigenvector only scales the eigenvector by the scalar value λ, called an eigenvalue. This condition can be written as the equation T V equals lambda V display style t math bf v equals lambda math bf v referred to as the eigenvalue equation or eigen equation. In general, lambda may be any scalar. For example, lambda may be negative, in which case the eigenvector reverses direction as part of the scaling, or it may be zero or complex. The Mona Lisa example pictured at right provides a simple illustration. Each point on the painting can be represented as a vector pointing from the center of the painting to that point. The linear transformation in this example is called a shear mapping. Points in the top half are moved to the right and points in the bottom half are moved to the left proportional to how far they are from the horizontal axis that goes through the middle of the painting. The vectors pointing to each point in the original image are therefore tilted right or left and made longer or shorter by the transformation. Notice that points along the horizontal axis do not move at all when this transformation is applied. Therefore, any vector that points directly to the right or left with no vertical component is an eigenvector of this transformation because the mapping does not change its direction. 
Moreover, these eigenvectors all have an eigenvalue equal to 1 because the mapping does not change their length, either. Linear transformations can take many different forms, mapping vectors in a variety of vector spaces, so the eigenvectors can also take many forms. For example, the linear transformation could be a differential operator like d d x display style tfrac d dx in which case the eigenvectors are functions called eigenfunctions that are scaled by that differential operator such as d d x e lambda x equals lambda e lambda x display style frac d dx e caret lambda x equals lambda e caret lambda x alternatively the linear transformation could take the form of an n by n matrix in which case the eigenvectors are n by 1 matrices that are also referred to as eigenvectors if the linear transformation is expressed in the form of an n by n matrix A, then the eigenvalue equation above for a linear transformation can be rewritten as the matrix multiplication A V equals lambda V display style A V equals lambda V, where the eigenvector V is an n by 1 matrix. For a matrix, eigenvalues and eigenvectors can be used to decompose the matrix, for example by diagonalizing it. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors give rise to many closely related mathematical concepts, and the prefix eigen is applied liberally when naming them. The set of all eigenvectors of a linear transformation, each paired with its corresponding eigenvalue, is called the eigensystem of that transformation. The set of all eigenvectors of T corresponding to the same eigenvalue, together with the zero vector, is called an eigenspace or characteristic space of T. If the set of eigenvectors of T form a basis of the domain of T, then this basis is called an eigenbasis. History Eigenvalues are often introduced in the context of linear algebra or matrix theory. Historically, however, they arose in the study of quadratic forms and differential equations. In the 18th century Euler studied the rotational motion of a rigid body and discovered the importance of the principal axes. Lagrange realized that the principal axes are the eigenvectors of the inertia matrix. In the early 19th century, Cauchy saw how their work could be used to classify the quadric surfaces, and generalized it to arbitrary dimensions. Cauchy also coined the term Racine characteristique characteristic root for what is now called eigenvalue. His term survives in characteristic equation. Fourier used the work of Laplace and Lagrange to solve the heat equation by separation of variables in his famous 1822 book Terre analytique de la chaleur. Sturm developed Fourier's ideas further and brought them to the attention of Cauchy, who combined them with his own ideas and arrived at the fact that real symmetric matrices have real eigenvalues. This was extended by Hermite in 1855 to what are now called Hermitian matrices. Around the same time, Brioski proved that the eigenvalues of orthogonal matrices lie on the unit circle, and Clash found the corresponding result for skew-symmetric matrices. Finally, Weierstrass clarified an important aspect in the stability theory started by Laplace by realizing that defective matrices can cause instability. In the meantime, Liouville studied eigenvalue problems similar to those of Sturm. The discipline that grew out of their work is now called Sturm Liouville theory. 
Schwartz studied the first eigenvalue of Laplace's equation on general domains towards the end of the 19th century, while Poincaré studied Poisson's equation a few years later. At the start of the 20th century, Hilbert studied the eigenvalues of integral operators by viewing the operators as infinite matrices. He was the first to use the German word eigen, which means own. To denote eigenvalues and eigenvectors in 1904, though he may have been following a related usage by Helmholtz. For some time, the standard term in English was proper value, but the more distinctive term eigenvalue is standard today. The first numerical algorithm for computing eigenvalues and eigenvectors appeared in 1929, when von Mises published the power method. One of the most popular methods today, the QR algorithm, was proposed independently by John G. F. Francis and Vera Kublanovskaya in 1961. Topic: <laughs> Eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors are often introduced to students in the context of linear algebra courses focused on matrices. Furthermore, linear transformations can be represented using matrices, which is especially common in numerical and computational applications. Consider n-dimensional vectors that are formed as a list of n scalars, such as the three-dimensional vectors x equals 1 3 4 and y equals minus 20 minus 60 minus 80 Display style x equals begin b matrix one three four end b matrix quad m box and quad y equals begin b matrix minus twenty minus sixty minus eighty end b matrix. These vectors are said to be scalar multiples of each other, or parallel or collinear, if there is a scalar lambda such that x equals lambda. Y display style x equals lambda y. In this case, lambda equals minus one twentieth. Now consider the linear transformation of n-dimensional vectors defined by an n by n matrix A. A v equals w display style a v equals w or a eleven a twelve a one n a twenty one a twenty two a two n a n one a N two dot 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 A N N V one V two V N equals W one W two W N display style begin B matrix are underscore eleven and A underscore twelve and L dots and A underscore one N A underscore twenty one and A underscore twenty two and L dots and A underscore two N V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S are underscore N one and A underscore N two and L dots and A underscore N N end B matrix begin B matrix V underscore one V underscore two V D O T S V underscore N end B matrix equals begin B matrix W underscore one W underscore two V D O T S W underscore N end B matrix where for each row W I equals A I 
1 v 1 plus a i 2 v 2 plus plus a i n v n equals j equals 1 n a i j v j Display style W underscore I equals A underscore I one V underscore one plus A underscore I two V underscore two plus C D O T S plus A underscore in V underscore N equals sum underscore J equals one carrot N A underscore I J V underscore J If it occurs that V and W are scalar multiples, that is if then v is an eigenvector of the linear transformation a and the scale factor λ is the eigenvalue corresponding to that eigenvector. Equation 1 is the eigenvalue equation for the matrix A. Equation 1 can be stated equivalently as where i is the n by n identity matrix. Topic eigenvalues and the characteristic polynomial equation two has a non-zero solution v if and only if the determinant of the matrix a minus lambda i is zero. Therefore, the eigenvalues of A are values of lambda that satisfy the equation using Leibniz rule for the determinant. The left-hand side of equation 3 is a polynomial function of the variable lambda and the degree of this polynomial is n. The order of the matrix A its coefficients depend on the entries of A except that its term of degree n is always -1 n lambda n. This polynomial is called the characteristic polynomial of A equation 3 is called the characteristic equation or the secular equation of A the fundamental theorem of algebra implies that the characteristic polynomial of an n by n matrix A being a polynomial of degree n can be factored into the product of n linear terms where each lambda i may be real but in general is a complex number the numbers λ1, λ2, λ n, which may not all have distinct values, are roots of the polynomial and are the eigenvalues of A as a brief example, which is described in more detail in the examples section later. Consider the matrix M equals 2 1 1 2, display style M equals begin B matrix 2 and 1 1 and 2 end B matrix, taking the determinant of M minus λ i, the characteristic polynomial polynomial of m is m minus lambda i equals 2 minus lambda 1 1 2 minus lambda equals 3 minus 4 lambda plus lambda 2 display style m lambda i equals begin v matrix 2 lambda and 1 1 and 2 lambda end v matrix equals 3 to 4 lambda plus lambda caret 2 Setting the characteristic polynomial equal to zero, it has roots at lambda. Topic one and lambda three, which are the two eigenvalues of m. The eigenvectors corresponding to each eigenvalue can be found by solving for the components of v in the equation m v equals lambda v. In this example, the eigenvectors are any non-zero scalar multiples of v lambda equals one equals one minus one v lambda equals three equals one one Display style V underscore Lambda equals one equals begin B matrix one minus one end B matrix quad V underscore Lambda equals three equals begin B matrix one one end B matrix 
If the entries of the matrix A are all real numbers, then the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial will also be real numbers, but the eigenvalues may still have non-zero imaginary parts. The entries of the corresponding eigenvectors therefore may also have non-zero imaginary parts. Similarly, the eigenvalues may be irrational numbers even if all the entries of A are rational numbers or even if they are all integers. However, if the entries of A are all algebraic numbers, which include the rationals, the eigenvalues are complex algebraic numbers. The non-real roots of a real polynomial with real coefficients can be grouped into pairs of complex conjugates, namely with the two members of each pair having imaginary parts that differ only in sign and the same real part. If the degree is odd, then by the intermediate value theorem at least one of the roots is real. Therefore, any real matrix with odd order has at least one real eigenvalue, whereas a real matrix with even order may not have any real eigenvalues. The eigenvectors associated with these complex eigenvalues are also complex and also appear in complex conjugate pairs. Topic: <laughs> Algebraic multiplicity. Let λ i be an eigenvalue of an n by n matrix A. The algebraic multiplicity mu a lambda i of the eigenvalue is its multiplicity as a root of the characteristic polynomial, that is, the largest integer k such that lambda minus lambda i k divides evenly that polynomial. Suppose a matrix A has dimension n and d n distinct eigenvalues. Whereas equation 4 factors the characteristic polynomial of A into the product of n linear terms with some terms potentially repeating, the characteristic polynomial can instead be written as the product of d terms each corresponding to a distinct eigenvalue and raised to the power of the algebraic multiplicity a minus lambda i equals Lambda one minus Lambda mu a Lambda one Lambda two minus Lambda mu a Lambda two Lambda D Minus Lambda Mu a Lambda D Display style a lambda i equals lambda underscore one lambda carrot mu underscore a lambda underscore one lambda underscore two lambda carrot mu underscore a lambda underscore two c d o t s lambda underscore d lambda carrot mu underscore a lambda underscore d if d equals n then the right hand side is the product of n linear terms and this is the same as equation 4. The size of each eigenvalue's algebraic multiplicity is related to the dimension n as 1 mu a lambda i n mu a equals i equals 1 d mu a lambda i equals n display style begin aligned 1 and leq mu underscore a lambda underscore i leq n mu underscore a and equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret d mu underscore a left lambda underscore I right equals n end aligned. If mu a lambda i equals one, then lambda i is said to be a simple eigenvalue. If mu a lambda i equals the geometric multiplicity of lambda i gamma a lambda i defined in the next section, then lambda i is said to be a semi-simple eigenvalue. Equals. Topic: Eigenspaces, geometric multiplicity, and the eigenbasis for matrices. Equals. 
Given a particular eigenvalue lambda of the n by n matrix A, define the set E to be all vectors V that satisfy equation 2 E equals V A minus lambda I V equals zero Display style E equals left Math BF V sad face A lambda I Math BF V equals zero right on one hand, this set is precisely the kernel or null space of the matrix a minus lambda i. On the other hand, by definition, any non-zero vector that satisfies this condition is an eigenvector of A associated with lambda. So, the set E is the union of the zero vector with the set of all eigenvectors of A associated with lambda, and E equals the null space of a minus lambda I. E is called the eigenspace or characteristic space of A associated with lambda. In general, lambda is a complex number, and the eigenvectors are complex n by one matrices. A property of the null space is that it is a linear subspace, so E is a linear subspace of N. Because the eigenspace E is a linear subspace, it is closed under addition. That is, if two vectors U and V belong to the set E, written U, V element of E, then U plus V element of E or equivalently A U plus V. topic lambda u plus v this can be checked using the distributive property of matrix multiplication similarly because e is a linear subspace it is closed under scalar multiplication that is if v element of e and alpha is a complex number alpha v element of e or equivalently a alpha v lambda alpha v this can be checked by noting that multiplication of complex matrices by complex numbers is commutative as long as u plus v and alpha v are not zero they are also eigenvectors of a associated with lambda the dimension of the eigenspace e associated with lambda or equivalently the maximum number of linearly independent eigenvectors associated with lambda is referred to as the eigenvalues geometric multiplicity gamma a lambda because e is also the null space of a minus lambda i the geometric multiplicity of lambda is the dimension of the null space of a minus lambda i also called the nullity of a minus lambda i which relates to the dimension and rank of a minus lambda i as gamma a lambda equals n minus rank Minus lambda i display style gamma underscore a lambda equals n operator name rank a lambda i because of the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, an eigenvalue's geometric multiplicity must be at least one. That is, each eigenvalue has at least one associated eigenvector. Furthermore, an eigenvalue's geometric multiplicity cannot exceed its algebraic multiplicity. Additionally, recall that an eigenvalue's algebraic multiplicity cannot exceed n. 1 gamma a lambda mu a lambda n Display style one leq gamma underscore a lambda leq mu underscore a lambda leq n. To prove the inequality, gamma a lambda mu a lambda display style gamma underscore a lambda leq mu underscore a lambda consider how the definition of geometric multiplicity implies the existence of gamma a lambda 
Display style gamma underscore a lambda orthonormal eigenvectors v one v gamma a lambda display style bold symbol v underscore one l dots bold symbol v underscore gamma underscore a lambda such that a V K equals Lambda V K Display style A bold symbol V underscore K equals Lambda bold symbol V underscore K. We can therefore find a unitary matrix V Display style V whose first gamma a lambda display style gamma underscore a lambda columns are these eigenvectors and whose remaining columns can be any orthonormal set of n minus gamma a lambda display style n gamma underscore a lambda Vectors orthogonal to these eigenvectors of a display style a, then v display style v has full rank and is therefore invertible, and a v equals v d display style a v equals v d. D display style D a matrix whose top left block is the diagonal matrix lambda I gamma a lambda display style lambda I underscore gamma underscore at lambda this implies that a minus she I V equals V D minus she I display style a she I V equals V D she I. In other words, a minus she I display style a she i is similar to d minus she i display style d she i which implies that det a minus she i equals det D minus she I display style debt a she I equals debt D she I. But from the definition of D display style D, we know that debt D minus she I display style debt d she i contains a factor she minus lambda gamma a lambda display style she lambda caret gamma underscore a lambda which means that the algebraic multiplicity of lambda display style lambda must satisfy mu a lambda gamma a lambda display style mu underscore a lambda g q gamma underscore a lambda 
Suppose A has d n distinct eigenvalues λ1, λ2, λ d, where the geometric multiplicity of λ i is γ a λ i. The total geometric multiplicity of A, gamma A equals I equals one D gamma A, lambda I, D gamma A N. Display style begin aligned, gamma underscore a and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot D, gamma underscore a, lambda underscore I, D and LEQ, gamma underscore a, LEQ N, end aligned is the dimension of the union of all the eigenspaces of A's eigenvalues or equivalently the maximum number of linearly independent eigenvectors of A. If γ A equals n, then the direct sum of the eigenspaces of all of A's eigenvalues is the entire vector space n. A basis of n can be formed from n linearly independent eigenvectors of A, such a basis is called an eigenbasis. Any vector in N can be written as a linear combination of eigenvectors of A. Topic: <laughs> Additional properties of eigenvalues. Let A be an arbitrary N by N matrix of complex numbers with eigenvalues lambda one, lambda two, lambda N. Each eigenvalue appears mu a lambda i times in this list, where mu a lambda i is the eigenvalue's algebraic multiplicity. The following are properties of this matrix and its eigenvalues. The trace of a, defined as the sum of its diagonal elements, is also the sum of all eigenvalues. Tr a equals i equals 1 n a i i equals i equals 1 n lambda i equals lambda 1 plus Lambda two plus plus Lambda N Display style operator name TR equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore E equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N Lambda underscore I equals Lambda underscore one plus Lambda underscore two plus C D O T S plus Lambda underscore N The determinant of A is the product of all its eigenvalues Debt a equals I equals one N Lambda I equals Lambda one Lambda two Lambda N Display style debt a equals prod underscore I equals one carrot N lambda underscore I equals lambda underscore one lambda underscore two C D O T S lambda underscore N The eigenvalues of the KTH power of A, i.e., the eigenvalues of AC, for any positive integer K, a lambda one K, lambda two K, lambda N K. The matrix A is invertible if and only if every eigenvalue is non-zero. If A is invertible, then the eigenvalues of A minus one are one, lambda one, one, lambda two, one, lambda n, and each eigenvalue's geometric multiplicity coincides. Moreover, since the characteristic polynomial of the inverse is the reciprocal polynomial of the original, the eigenvalues share the same algebraic multiplicity. If A is equal to its conjugate transpose A asterisk, or equivalently if A is Hermitian, then every eigenvalue is real. The same is true of any symmetric real matrix. 
If A is not only Hermitian but also positive definite, positive semidefinite, negative definite, or negative semidefinite, then every eigenvalue is positive, non negative, negative, or non positive, respectively. If A is unitary, every eigenvalue has absolute value, lambda i equals 1 equals topic left and right eigenvectors equals many disciplines traditionally represent vectors as matrices with a single column rather than as matrices with a single row for that reason the word eigenvector in the context of matrices almost always refers to a right eigenvector, namely a column vector that right multiplies the n by n matrix A in the defining equation, equation 1 A V equals lambda V display style A V equals lambda V the eigenvalue and eigenvector problem can also be defined for row vectors that left multiply matrix A in this formulation. The defining equation is U A equals kappa U display style U A equals kappa U, where kappa is a scalar and U is a one by n matrix. Any row vector U satisfying this equation is called a left eigenvector of A and kappa is its associated eigenvalue. Taking the transpose of this equation A T U T equals kappa U T Display style a caret text sf t u caret text sf t equals kappa u caret text sf t. Comparing this equation to equation one, it follows immediately that a left eigenvector of a is the same as the transpose of a right eigenvector of it, with the same eigenvalue. Furthermore, since the characteristic polynomial of it is the same as the characteristic polynomial of A, the eigenvalues of the left eigenvectors of A are the same as the eigenvalues of the right eigenvectors of it. Topic diagonalization and the eigendecomposition Suppose the eigenvectors of A form a basis, or equivalently A has n linearly independent eigenvectors V1, V2, Vn with associated eigenvalues λ1, λ2, λn. The eigenvalues need not be distinct. Define a square matrix Q whose columns are the n linearly independent eigenvectors of A, Q equals V1, V2, Vn, display style Q equals begin B matrix V underscore 1 and V underscore 2 and CDOTS and V underscore N end B matrix. Since each column of Q is an eigenvector of A, right multiplying A by Q scales each column of Q by its associated eigenvalue, A Q equals lambda 1 V1 lambda 2 V2 lambda N V N, display style A Q equals begin B matrix lambda underscore 1 V underscore 1 and lambda underscore 2 V underscore 2 and C D O T S and lambda underscore N V underscore N end B matrix. With this in mind, define a diagonal matrix λ where each diagonal element λ e is the eigenvalue associated with the ith column of Q. Then a Q equals Q λ. Display style a Q equals Q λ because the columns of Q are linearly independent. Q is invertible. Right multiplying both sides of the equation by Q minus one. Equals Q Lambda Q minus one Display style A equals Q Lambda Q carrot minus one or by instead left multiplying both sides by Q minus one Q minus 
1 a q equals lambda display style q caret minus 1 a q equals lambda a can therefore be decomposed into a matrix composed of its eigenvectors, a diagonal matrix with its eigenvalues along the diagonal, and the inverse of the matrix of eigenvectors. This is called the eigendecomposition and it is a similarity transformation. Such a matrix A is said to be similar to the diagonal matrix λ or diagonalizable. The matrix Q is the change of basis matrix of the similarity transformation. Essentially, the matrices A and λ represent the same linear transformation expressed in two different bases. The eigenvectors are used as the basis when representing the linear transformation as λ. Conversely, suppose a matrix A is diagonalizable. Let P be a non-singular square matrix such that P minus 1 AP is some diagonal matrix D left multiplying both by P, AP equals PD. Each column of P must therefore be an eigenvector of A whose eigenvalue is the corresponding diagonal element of D since the columns of P must be linearly independent for P to be invertible, there exist n linearly independent eigenvectors of A. It then follows that the eigenvectors of A form a basis if and only if A is diagonalizable. A matrix that is not diagonalizable is said to be defective. For defective matrices, the notion of eigenvectors generalizes to generalized eigenvectors and the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues generalizes to the Jordan normal form. Over an algebraically closed field, any matrix A has a Jordan normal form and therefore admits a basis of generalized eigenvectors and a decomposition into generalized eigenspaces. Topic: Variational characterization. In the Hermitian case, eigenvalues can be given a variational characterization. The largest eigenvalue of h, display style h, is the maximum value of the quadratic form x t h. X X T X display style X caret text SF T H X X caret text SF T X a value of X display style X that realizes that maximum is an eigenvector. Topic Matrix Examples Topic Two Dimensional Matrix Example Consider the matrix A equals two one one two Display style A equals begin B matrix two and one one and two end B matrix The figure on the right shows the effect of this transformation on point coordinates in the plane. The eigenvectors V of this transformation satisfy equation 1, and the values of λ for which the determinant of the matrix equals 0 are the eigenvalues. Taking the determinant to find characteristic polynomial of A A minus λ I equals 2 1 1 2 minus lambda 1 0 0 1 equals 2 minus lambda 
one one two minus lambda equals three minus four lambda plus lambda two display style begin aligned a lambda i and equals left begin b matrix two and one one and two end b matrix lambda begin b matrix one and zero zero and one end b matrix right equals begin v matrix two lambda and one one and two lambda end v matrix six p T and equals three to four lambda plus lambda carrot two end aligned. Setting the characteristic polynomial equal to zero, it has roots at lambda. Topic one and lambda three, which are the two eigenvalues of a. For lambda equals one, equation two becomes a minus i v lambda equals one equals one 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 v one v two equals o o display style a i v underscore lambda equals one equals begin b matrix one and one one and one end b matrix begin b matrix v underscore one v underscore two end b matrix equals begin b matrix zero zero end b matrix any non-zero vector with v one equals minus v two solves this equation. Therefore V Lambda equals one equals one minus one Display style V underscore Lambda equals one equals begin B matrix one minus one end B matrix is an eigenvector of a corresponding to lambda equals one, as is any scalar multiple of this vector. For lambda equals three, equation two becomes a minus three i v lambda equals 3 equals minus 1 1 1 minus 1 v 1 v 2 equals 0 display style a 3 i v underscore lambda equals 3 equals begin b matrix minus 1 and 1 1 and minus 1 end b matrix begin b matrix v underscore 1 v underscore 2 end b matrix equals begin b matrix 0 0 end b matrix any non zero vector Vector with v1 equals v2 solves this equation. Therefore, v lambda equals three equals one one. Display style v underscore lambda equals three equals begin b matrix one one end b matrix is an eigenvector of a corresponding to lambda equals 3 as is any scalar multiple of this vector thus the vectors v lambda equals 1 and v lambda equals 3 are eigenvectors of a associated with the eigenvalues lambda topic 1 and lambda 3 respectively Topic three dimensional matrix example consider the matrix A equals two O O O three four O four nine Display style A equals begin B matrix two and zero and zero zero and three and four zero and four and nine and B matrix. The characteristic polynomial of A is a minus Lambda I equals two zero 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 three four zero four nine minus lambda one zero zero 
0 1 0 0 0 1 equals 2 minus lambda 0 0 0 3 minus lambda 4 0 4 9 minus lambda equals 2 minus lambda 3 minus lambda 9 minus lambda minus 16 equals minus lambda 3 plus 14 lambda 2 minus 35 lambda plus 22 Display style begin aligned a lambda i and equals left begin b matrix two and zero and zero zero and three and four zero and four and nine end b matrix lambda begin b matrix one and zero and zero zero and one and zero zero and zero and one end b matrix right equals begin v matrix two lambda and zero and zero zero and three lambda and 4 0 and 4 and 9 lambda end v matrix 6 pt and equals 2 lambda bigl 3 lambda 9 lambda minus 16 big r equals lambda caret 3 plus 1 4 lambda caret 2 minus 35 lambda plus 2 2 end aligned the roots of the characteristic polynomial are 2 1 and 11 which are the only three eigenvalues of a these eigenvalues correspond to the eigenvectors 100t display style begin b matrix 1 and 0 and 0 end b matrix caret text sf t 0 minus 2 1 t display style begin b matrix 0 and minus 2 and 1 end b matrix caret text sf t and 012 t display style begin b matrix 0 and 1 and 2 end B matrix caret text SF T or any non-zero multiple thereof. Topic three dimensional matrix example with complex eigenvalues. Consider the cyclic permutation matrix A equals O one O O O one one O O. Display style A equals begin B matrix zero and one and zero zero and zero and one one and zero and zero and B matrix. This matrix shifts the coordinates of the vector up by one position and moves the first coordinate to the bottom. Its characteristic polynomial is 1 minus lambda 3, whose roots are lambda 1 equals 1 lambda 2 equals minus 1 2 plus i 3 2 lambda 3 equals lambda 2 equals minus 1 2 minus i 3 2 display style begin aligned lambda underscore 1 and equals 1 lambda underscore 2 and equals frac 1 2 plus math bf i frac sqrt 3 2 lambda underscore 3 and equals lambda underscore 2 carrot asterisk equals frac 1 2 math bf i frac sqrt 3 2 end aligned where i display style math bf i is an imaginary uni t with i 2 equals minus 1 Display style math bf i caret two equals minus one. For the real eigenvalue lambda one equals one, any vector with three equal non-zero entries is an eigenvector. For example, a five five five, five equals five 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 equals 1 5 5 5 
Display style A begin B matrix five 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 end B matrix equals begin B matrix five 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 end B matrix equals one C D O T begin B matrix five 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 end B matrix For the complex conjugate pair of imaginary eigenvalues, note that Lambda two Lambda three equals one Lambda two two equals Lambda three Lambda three two equals Lambda two Display style lambda underscore two lambda underscore three equals one quad lambda underscore two carrot two equals lambda underscore three quad lambda underscore three carrot two equals lambda underscore two. Then a one lambda two lambda Three equals Lambda two Lambda three one equals Lambda two one Lambda two Lambda three Display style A begin B matrix one Lambda underscore two Lambda underscore three end B matrix equals begin B matrix Lambda underscore two Lambda underscore three one end B matrix equals Lambda underscore two C D O T begin B matrix one Lambda underscore two Lambda underscore three end B matrix and One Lambda three Lambda two equals Lambda three Lambda two one equals Lambda three one Lambda three Lambda two Display style A begin B matrix one Lambda underscore three Lambda underscore two end B matrix equals begin B matrix Lambda underscore three Lambda underscore two one end B matrix equals Lambda underscore three C D O T begin B matrix one Lambda underscore three Lambda underscore two end B matrix Therefore, the other two eigenvectors of A are complex and a V lambda two equals one lambda two lambda three T display style V underscore lambda underscore two equals begin B matrix one and lambda underscore two and lambda underscore three end B matrix carrot text SF T and V lambda three equals one lambda three lambda two T display style V underscore lambda underscore underscore three equals begin B matrix one and lambda underscore three and lambda underscore two end B matrix carrot text SFT with eigenvalues lambda two and lambda three, respectively. Note that the two complex eigenvectors also appear in a complex conjugate pair V lambda two equals V Lambda three Display style V underscore Lambda underscore two equals V underscore Lambda underscore three carrot asterisk Topic Diagonal matrix example matrices with entries only along the main diagonal are called diagonal matrices. The eigenvalues of a diagonal matrix are the diagonal elements themselves. 
Consider the matrix A equals 1002003 display style A equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 2 and 0 0 and 0 and 3 end B matrix The characteristic polynomial of A is a minus lambda i equals 1 minus lambda 2 minus lambda 3 minus lambda display style a lambda i equals 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda which has the roots lambda 1 topic 1 lambda 2 2 and lambda 3 equals 3 these roots are the diagonal elements as well as the eigenvalues of a each diagonal element corresponds to an eigenvector whose only non-zero component is in the same row as that diagonal element in the example the eigenvalues correspond to the eigenvectors v Lambda one equals one zero zero V Lambda two equals zero one zero V Lambda three equals Zero zero one Display style V underscore Lambda underscore one equals begin B matrix one zero zero end B matrix quad V underscore Lambda underscore two equals begin B matrix zero one zero end B matrix quad V underscore Lambda underscore three equals begin B matrix zero zero one end B matrix respectively, as well as scalar multiples of these vectors. Topic triangular matrix Example A matrix whose elements above the main diagonal are all zero is called a lower triangular matrix, while a matrix whose elements below the main diagonal are all zero is called an upper triangular matrix. As with diagonal matrices, the eigenvalues of triangular matrices are the elements of the main diagonal. Consider the lower triangular matrix A equals 1001202333 display style A equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 and 0 1 and 2 and 0 2 and 3 and 3 end B matrix. The characteristic polynomial of A is Minus Lambda I equals one minus Lambda two minus Lambda three minus Lambda Display style a Lambda I equals one Lambda two Lambda three Lambda which has the roots lambda 1 topic 1 lambda 2 2 and lambda 3 equals 3 these roots are the diagonal elements as well as the eigenvalues of a these eigenvalues correspond to the eigenvectors v lambda 1 equals 1 minus 1 1 2 V lambda 2 equals 0 1 minus 3 V lambda 
3 equals 0 0 1 Display style V underscore, Lambda underscore, one equals begin B matrix, one minus one, frac, one, two, end B matrix, quad V underscore, Lambda underscore, two equals begin B matrix, zero, one, minus three, end B matrix, quad V underscore, Lambda underscore, three equals begin B matrix, zero, zero, one, end B matrix respectively as well as scalar multiples of these vectors topic matrix with repeated eigenvalues example as in the previous example the lower triangular matrix a equals 2000012000013000013 display style a equals begin b matrix 2 and 0 and 0 and 0 1 and 2 and 0 and 0 0 and 1 and 3 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 and 3 end b matrix matrix, has a characteristic polynomial that is the product of its diagonal elements, a minus lambda i, equals, 2 minus lambda 0001 2 minus lambda 0. 0013 minus lambda 0013 minus lambda equals 2 minus lambda 2 3 minus lambda 2 display style a lambda i equals begin v matrix 2 lambda and 0 and 0 and 0 1 and 2 lambda and 0 and 0 0 and 1 and 3 lambda and 0 0 and 0 and 1 and 3 lambda end v matrix equals 2 lambda caret 2 3 lambda caret 2 the roots of this polynomial and hence the eigenvalues are 2 and 3 the algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue is 2 in other words they are both double roots the sum of the algebraic multiplicities of each distinct eigenvalue is mu a Topic 4n the order of the characteristic polynomial and the dimension of a on the other hand the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue 2 is only 1 because its eigenspace is spanned by just one vector 01-11t display style begin b matrix 0 and 1 and -1 and 1 end b matrix caret text sf t and is therefore one dimensional Similarly, the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue 3 is 1 because its eigenspace is spanned by just one vector 0001 t display style begin b matrix 0 and 0 and 0 and 1 end b matrix caret text sf t The total geometric multiplicity gamma a is 2, which is the smallest it could be for a matrix with two distinct eigenvalues. Geometric multiplicities are defined in a later section. Topic: <inaudible> Eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of differential operators. The definitions of eigenvalue and eigenvectors of a linear transformation T remains valid even if the underlying vector space is an infinite dimensional Hilbert or Banach space. A widely used class of linear transformations acting on infinite dimensional spaces are the differential operators on function spaces. Let D be a linear differential operator on the space C infinity of infinitely differentiable real functions of a real argument T. The eigenvalue equation for D is the differential equation D F T equals Lambda F T Display style df t equals lambda f t. The functions that satisfy this equation are eigenvectors of D and are commonly called eigenfunctions. Topic: Derivative operator example. Consider the derivative operator d d. T 
Display style TFRAC D DT with eigenvalue equation D D T F T equals Lambda F T Display style frac D DT F T equals Lambda F T this differential equation can be solved by multiplying both sides by dt, f, t and integrating. Its solution, the exponential function f t equals f 0 e lambda t Display style f t equals f zero e caret lambda t is the eigenfunction of the derivative operator. Note that in this case the eigenfunction is itself a function of its associated eigenvalue. In particular, note that for lambda equals zero, the eigenfunction f t is a constant. The main eigenfunction article gives other examples. General definition The concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors extends naturally to arbitrary linear transformations on arbitrary vector spaces. Let V be any vector space over some field K of scalars, and let T be a linear transformation mapping V into V T V V Display style t v to v. We say that a non-zero vector v element of v is an eigenvector of t if and only if there exists a scalar lambda element of k such that this equation is called the eigenvalue equation for t, and the scalar lambda is the eigenvalue of t corresponding to the eigenvector v. Note that t v is the result of applying the transformation t to the vector v, while lambda v is the product of the scalar lambda with v. Topic eigenspaces, geometric multiplicity, and the eigenbasis given an eigenvalue lambda. Consider the set E equals v t v equals lambda v. Display style E equals left math bf v t math bf v equals lambda math bf v right, which is the union of the zero vector with the set of all eigenvectors associated with lambda. E is called the eigenspace or characteristic space of T associated with λ. By definition of a linear transformation, T x plus y equals T x plus T y T alpha x equals alpha T x. Display style begin aligned T math bf x plus math bf y and equals T math bf x plus T math bf y T alpha math bf x and equals alpha T math bf x end aligned for x y element of v and alpha element of k therefore if u and v are eigenvectors of t associated with eigenvalue lambda namely u v element of e then t u plus v equals lambda u plus v t alpha v equals lambda alpha v display style begin aligned t math bf u plus math bf v and equals lambda math bf u plus math bf v t alpha Math BF V and equals Lambda alpha Math BF V end aligned sir both U plus V and alpha V are either zero or eigenvectors of T associated with Lambda, namely U plus V, alpha V element of E, and E is closed under addition and scalar multiplication. 
The eigenspace E associated with λ is therefore a linear subspace of V. If that subspace has dimension 1, it is sometimes called an eigenline. The geometric multiplicity γ t of an eigenvalue λ is the dimension of the eigenspace associated with λ, i.e., the maximum number of linearly independent eigenvectors associated with that eigenvalue. By the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, gamma t lambda 1 because every eigenvalue has at least one eigenvector. The eigenspaces of t always form a direct sum. As a consequence, eigenvectors of different eigenvalues are always linearly independent. Therefore, the sum of the dimensions of the eigenspaces cannot exceed the dimension n of the vector space on which T operates, and there cannot be more than n distinct eigenvalues. Any subspace spanned by eigenvectors of T is an invariant subspace of T, and the restriction of T to such a subspace is diagonalizable. Moreover, if the entire vector space V can be spanned by the eigenvectors of T, or equivalently if the direct sum of the eigenspaces associated with all the eigenvalues of T is the entire vector space V, then a basis of V called an eigenbasis can be formed from linearly independent eigenvectors of T when T admits an eigenbasis, T is diagonalizable. Topic: Zero vector as an eigenvector. While the definition of an eigenvector used in this article excludes the zero vector, it is possible to define eigenvalues and eigenvectors such that the zero vector is an eigenvector. Consider again the eigenvalue equation. Equation five. Define an eigenvalue to be any scalar lambda element of K such that there exists a non-zero vector V element of V satisfying equation 5. It is important that this version of the definition of an eigenvalue specify that the vector be non-zero, otherwise by this definition the zero vector would allow any scalar in K to be an eigenvalue. Define an eigenvector V associated with the eigenvalue λ to be any vector that, given λ, satisfies equation 5. Given the eigenvalue, the zero vector is among the vectors that satisfy equation 5, so the zero vector is included among the eigenvectors by this alternate definition. Spectral theory. If λ is an eigenvalue of T, then the operator T I is not 1 to 1, and therefore its inverse T I 1 does not exist. The converse is true for finite dimensional vector spaces, but not for infinite dimensional vector spaces. In general, the operator T I may not have an inverse even if λ is not an eigenvalue. For this reason, in functional analysis eigenvalues can be generalized to the spectrum of a linear operator T as the set of all scalars λ for which the operator T I has no bounded inverse. The spectrum of an operator always contains all its eigenvalues but is not limited to them. Associative algebras and representation theory One can generalize the algebraic object that is acting on the vector space, replacing a single operator acting on a vector space with an algebra representation, an associative algebra acting on a module. The study of such actions is the field of representation theory. The representation theoretical concept of weight is an analog of eigenvalues, while weight vectors and weight spaces are the analogs of eigenvectors and eigenspaces, respectively. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dynamic equations. The simplest difference equations have the form x T equals a one 
x t minus 1 plus a 2 x t minus 2 plus plus a k x t minus k Display style x underscore t equals or underscore one x underscore t one plus a underscore two x underscore t two plus c d o t s plus a underscore k x underscore t k. The solution of this equation for x in terms of t is found by using its characteristic equation lambda k minus one Lambda K minus one minus a two Lambda K minus two minus minus A K minus one Lambda minus A K equals zero Display style Lambda carrot K or underscore one Lambda carrot K one or underscore two Lambda carrot K two C D O T S or underscore K one Lambda or underscore K equals zero which can be found by stacking into matrix form a set of equations consisting of the above difference equation and the k1 equations x t minus 1 equals x t minus 1 x t minus K plus one equals X T minus K plus one display style X underscore T one equals x underscore t one dots x underscore t k plus one equals x underscore t k plus one, giving a k dimensional system of the first order in the stacked variable vector x t x t minus k plus one. Display style begin b matrix x underscore t and c d o t s and x underscore t k plus one end b matrix in terms of its one slagged value and take Making the characteristic equation of this system's matrix. This equation gives k characteristic roots lambda one, lambda k, display style lambda underscore one l dots lambda underscore k for use in the solution equation x t equals c one lambda one t plus plus c k lambda k t, display style x underscore t equals c underscore one lambda underscore one caret t plus c d o t s plus c underscore k lambda a similar procedure is used for solving a differential equation of the form d k x d t k plus a k minus one d K minus one X D T K minus one plus plus a one D X D T 
plus a zero x equals zero. Display style frac d caret k x d t caret k plus a underscore k one frac d caret k one x d t caret k one plus c d o t s plus a underscore one frac d x d t plus a underscore zero x equals zero. Topic calculation. The calculation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors is a topic where theory, as presented in elementary linear algebra textbooks, is often very far from practice. Topic: Classical method. The classical method is to first find the eigenvalues and then calculate the eigenvectors for each eigenvalue. It is in several ways poorly suited for non-exact arithmetic such as floating point. Eigenvalues The eigenvalues of a matrix A can be determined by finding the roots of the characteristic polynomial. This is easy for two times two display style two times two matrices, but the difficulty increases rapidly with the size of the matrix. In theory, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial can be computed exactly, since they are sums of products of matrix elements, and there are algorithms that can find all the roots of a polynomial of arbitrary degree to any required accuracy. However, this approach is not viable in practice because the coefficients would be contaminated by unavoidable round-off errors, and the roots of a polynomial can be an extremely sensitive function of the coefficients as exemplified by Wilkinson's polynomial. Even for matrices whose elements are integers the calculation becomes non-trivial, because the sums are very long, the constant term is the determinant, which for an n times n display style n times n is a sum of n display style n different products explicit algebraic formulas for the roots of a polynomial exist only if the degree n display style n is 4 or less According to the abel ruffini theorem there is no general, explicit and exact algebraic formula for the roots of a polynomial with degree 5 or more, generality matters because any polynomial with degree n is the characteristic polynomial of some companion matrix of order n Therefore, for matrices of order 5 or more, the eigenvalues and eigenvectors cannot be obtained by an explicit algebraic formula, and must therefore be computed by approximate numerical methods. Even the exact formula for the roots of a degree 3 polynomial is numerically impractical. Eigenvectors. <inaudible> <inaudible> Once the exact value of an eigenvalue is known, the corresponding eigenvectors can be found by finding non-zero solutions of the eigenvalue equation, that becomes a system of linear equations with known coefficients. For example, once it is known that 6 is an eigenvalue of the matrix A equals 4163, display style A equals begin B matrix 4 and 1, 6 and 3, end B matrix, we can find its eigenvectors by solving the equation A V equals 6 V, display style A V equals 6 V, that is 4163 X Y equals 6 X Y. 
Display style begin B matrix four and one six and three end B matrix begin B matrix X Y end B matrix equals six C D O T begin B matrix X Y end B matrix This matrix equation is equivalent to two linear equations four X plus Y equals six by six X plus three Y equals six Y display style left begin aligned four Four x plus y and equals six x six x plus three y and equals six y end aligned right that is minus two x plus y equals o six x minus three y equals zero display style left begin aligned two x plus y and equals zero six by minus three y and equals zero end aligned right both equations reduce to the single linear equation y equals two x display style y equals 2x therefore any vector of the form a 2 a display style begin b matrix a 2a end b matrix for any non zero real number a display style a is an eigenvector of a display style a with eigenvalue lambda equals 6 display style lambda equals 6 the matrix a display style a above has another eigenvalue lambda equals 1 display style lambda equals 1 a similar calculation shows that the corresponding eigenvectors are the non-zero solutions of 3 x plus y equals 0 display style 3x plus y equals 0 that is any vector of the form b minus 3 B display style begin B matrix B three B end B matrix for any non-zero real number B display style B topic simple iterative methods The converse approach, of first seeking the eigenvectors and then determining each eigenvalue from its eigenvector, turns out to be far more tractable for computers. The easiest algorithm here consists of picking an arbitrary starting vector and then repeatedly multiplying it with the matrix optionally normalizing the vector to keep its elements of reasonable size, surprisingly this makes the vector converge towards an eigenvector. A variation is to instead multiply the vector by a minus mu i minus one display style a mu i caret minus one. This causes it to converge to an eigenvector of the eigenvalue closest to mu element of c. Display style mu in mathbar c. If v display style math bf v is a good approximation of an eigenvector of a display style a, then the corresponding eigenvalue can be computed as lambda equals v a V V V display style lambda equals frac math bf v caret asterisk a math bf v math bf v caret asterisk math bf v where V display style math bf v caret asterisk denotes the conjugate transpose of V 
Display style Math BF V Topic Modern Methods Efficient, accurate methods to compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors of arbitrary matrices were not known until the advent of the QR algorithm in 1961. Combining the householder transformation with the Lu decomposition results in an algorithm with better convergence than the QR algorithm. For large Hermitian sparse matrices, the Lanczos algorithm is one example of an efficient iterative method to compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Among several other possibilities, most numeric methods that compute the eigenvalues of a matrix also determine a set of corresponding eigenvectors as a byproduct of the computation, although sometimes the implementers choose to discard the eigenvector information as soon as it is not needed anymore. Topic Applications Topic Eigenvalues of geometric transformations The following table presents some example transformations in the plane along with their two times two matrices, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. Note that the characteristic equation for a rotation is a quadratic equation with discriminant d equals minus 4 sin theta 2 display style d equals minus 4 sin theta caret 2 which is a negative number whenever theta is not an integer multiple of 180 degrees. Therefore, except for these special cases, the two eigenvalues are complex numbers. Cos theta plus or minus i sin theta Display style cos theta pm math bf i sin theta, and all eigenvectors have non-real entries. Indeed, except for those special cases, a rotation changes the direction of every non-zero vector in the plane. A linear transformation that takes a square to a rectangle of the same area, a squeeze mapping, has reciprocal eigenvalues. Topic: Schrödinger equation. An example of an eigenvalue equation where the transformation t display style t is represented in terms of a differential operator is the time-independent Schrödinger equation in quantum mechanics. H psi e equals e psi e display style h psi underscore e equals e psi underscore e where h display style h the hamiltonian is a second order differential operator and psi e Display style psi underscore e. The wave function is one of its eigenfunctions corresponding to the eigenvalue e. Display style e. Interpreted as its energy. However, in the case where one is interested only in the bound state solutions of the Schrödinger equation, one looks for psi e. Display style psi underscore e within the space of square integrable functions. Since this space is a Hilbert space with a well-defined scalar product, one can introduce a basis set in which psi e display style psi underscore e and h display style h 
can be represented as a one-dimensional array i.e., a vector and a matrix respectively. This allows one to represent the Schrödinger equation in a matrix form. The bra ket notation is often used in this context. A vector, which represents a state of the system, in the Hilbert space of square integrable functions is represented by psi e display style psi underscore e wrangle in this notation the schrodinger equation is h psi e equals e psi e display style h psi underscore e wrangle equals e psi underscore e wrangle where psi e display style psi underscore e wrangle is an eigenstate of h display style h and e display style e represents the eigenvalue h display style h is an observable self adjoint operator, the infinite dimensional analogue of Hermitian matrices. As in the matrix case, in the equation above H psi E display style H psi underscore E wrangle is understood to be the vector obtained by application of the transformation H display style h 2 psi e display style psi underscore e wrangle topic molecular orbitals In quantum mechanics, and in particular in atomic and molecular physics, within the Hartree-Fock theory, the atomic and molecular orbitals can be defined by the eigenvectors of the Fock operator. The corresponding eigenvalues are interpreted as ionization potentials via Koopman's theorem. In this case, the term eigenvector is used in a somewhat more general meaning, since the Fock operator is explicitly dependent on the orbitals and their eigenvalues. Thus, if one wants to underline this aspect, one speaks of nonlinear eigenvalue problems. Such equations are usually solved by an iteration procedure, called in this case self-consistent field method. In quantum chemistry, one often represents the Hartree-Fock equation in a non-orthogonal basis set. This particular representation is a generalized eigenvalue problem called Ruthan equations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geology and glaciology. In geology, especially in the study of glacial till, eigenvectors and eigenvalues are used as a method by which a mass of information of a classed fabric's constituents orientation and dip can be summarized in a 3D space by six numbers. In the field, a geologist may collect such data for hundreds or thousands of clasts in a soil sample, which can only be compared graphically such as in a tri-plot diagram, or as a stereonet on a wolf net. The output for the orientation tensor is in the three orthogonal perpendicular axes of space. The three eigenvectors are ordered V 1 V 2 v 3 display style v underscore 1 v underscore 2 v underscore 3 by the eigenvalues e 1 e 2 e 3 Display style e underscore one g e q e underscore two g e q e underscore three v one display style v underscore one. 
then is the primary orientation dip of class v 2 display style v underscore 2 is the secondary and v 3 display style v underscore 3 is the tertiary in terms of strength the class orientation is defined as the direction of the eigenvector on a compass rows of 360 degrees dip is measured as the eigenvalue the modulus of the tensor this is valued from 0 degrees no dip to 90 degrees vertical the relative values of e 1 display style e underscore 1 e 2 display style e underscore 2 and e 3 display style e underscore 3 are dictated by the nature of the sediments fabric if e 1 equals e 2 equals e 3 display style e underscore 1 equals e underscore 2 equals e underscore 3 the fabric is said to be isotropic if e 1 equals e 2 greater than e 3 display style e underscore 1 equals e underscore 2 greater than e underscore 3 the fabric is said to be planar if e 1 greater than e 2 greater than e 3 display style e underscore 1 greater than e underscore 2 greater than e underscore 3 the fabric is said to be linear topic principal component analysis The eigendecomposition of a symmetric positive semidefinite PSD matrix yields an orthogonal basis of eigenvectors, each of which has a non-negative eigenvalue. The orthogonal decomposition of a PSD matrix is used in multivariate analysis, where the sample covariance matrices are PSD. This orthogonal decomposition is called principal components analysis PCA in statistics. PCA studies linear relations among variables. PCA is performed on the covariance matrix or the correlation matrix in which each variable is scaled to have its sample variance equal to 1. For the covariance or correlation matrix, the eigenvectors correspond to principal components and the eigenvalues to the variance explained by the principal components. Principal component analysis of the correlation matrix provides an orthonormal eigen basis for the space of the observed data. In this basis, the largest eigenvalues correspond to the principal components that are associated with most of the covariability among a number of observed data. Principal component analysis is used to study large data sets, such as those encountered in bioinformatics, data mining, chemical research, psychology, and in marketing. PCA is popular especially in psychology, in the field of psychometrics. In Q methodology, the eigenvalues of the correlation matrix determine the Q methodologist's judgment of practical significance, which differs from the statistical significance of hypothesis testing, CF, criteria for determining the number of factors. More generally, principal component analysis can be used as a method of factor analysis in structural equation modeling. topic vibration analysis 
Eigenvalue problems occur naturally in the vibration analysis of mechanical structures with many degrees of freedom. The eigenvalues are the natural frequencies or eigenfrequencies of vibration, and the eigenvectors are the shapes of these vibrational modes. In particular, undamped vibration is governed by m x plus k x equals 0 display style m d d o t x plus k x equals 0 or m x equals minus k x display style m d d o t x equals k x that is, acceleration is proportional to position, i.e., we expect x display style x to be sinusoidal in time. In n display style n dimensions m display style m becomes a mass matrix and k display style k a stiffness matrix admissible solutions are then a linear combination of solutions to the generalized eigenvalue problem minus k x equals omega 2 m x Display style kx equals omega caret two mx, where omega two display style omega caret two is the eigenvalue and omega display style omega is the imaginary angular frequency. Note that the principal vibration modes are different from the principal compliance modes, which are the eigenvectors of k k alone. Furthermore, damped vibration, governed by m x plus c x plus k x equals 0 display style m d d o t x plus c dot x plus k x equals 0 leads to a so-called quadratic eigenvalue problem omega 2 m plus omega c plus K x equals zero. Display style left omega caret two m plus omega c plus k right x equals zero. This can be reduced to a generalized eigenvalue problem by algebraic manipulation at the cost of solving a larger system. The orthogonality properties of the eigenvectors allows decoupling of the differential equations so that the system can be represented as linear summation of the eigenvectors. The eigenvalue problem of complex structures is often solved using finite element analysis, but neatly generalize the solution to scalar-valued vibration problems. Eigenfaces In image processing, processed images of faces can be seen as vectors whose components are the brightnesses of each pixel. The dimension of this vector space is the number of pixels. The eigenvectors of the covariance matrix associated with a large set of normalized pictures of faces are called eigenfaces. This is an example of principal component analysis. They are very useful for expressing any face image as a linear combination of some of them. 
In the facial recognition branch of biometrics, eigenfaces provide a means of applying data compression to faces for identification purposes. Research related to eigen vision systems determining hand gestures has also been made. Similar to this concept, eigenvoices represent the general direction of variability in human pronunciations of a particular utterance, such as a word in a language. Based on a linear combination of such eigenvoices, a new voice pronunciation of the word can be constructed. These concepts have been found useful in automatic speech recognition systems for speaker adaptation. Topic. Tensor of moment of inertia In mechanics, the eigenvectors of the moment of inertia tensor define the principal axes of a rigid body. The tensor of moment of inertia is a key quantity required to determine the rotation of a rigid body around its center of mass. Stress tensor In solid mechanics, the stress tensor is symmetric and so can be decomposed into a diagonal tensor with the eigenvalues on the diagonal and eigenvectors as a basis. Because it is diagonal, in this orientation, the stress tensor has no shear components, the components it does have are the principal components. topic graphs in spectral graph theory an eigenvalue of a graph is defined as an eigenvalue of the graph's adjacency matrix a display style a or increasingly of the graph's laplacian matrix due to its discrete laplace operator which is either t minus display style ta sometimes called the combinatorial laplacian or i minus t minus 1 2 a t minus 1 2 Display style i t caret minus one half at caret minus one half, sometimes called the normalized Laplacian, where t display style t is a diagonal matrix with t i i display style t underscore e equal to the degree of vertex. V I display style V underscore I and in T minus one two display style T carrot minus one half the I display style I TH diagonal entry is one Take V I display style one sqrt dag left V underscore I right the K display style K th principal eigenvector of a graph is defined as either the eigenvector corresponding to the K display style K th largest or k display style k th smallest eigenvalue of the laplacian the first principal eigenvector of the graph is also referred to merely as the principal eigenvector the principal eigenvector is used to measure the centrality of its vertices an example is google's page rank algorithm the principal eigenvector of a modified adjacency matrix of the World Wide Web graph gives the page ranks as its components. 
This vector corresponds to the stationary distribution of the Markov chain represented by the row normalized adjacency matrix. However, the adjacency matrix must first be modified to ensure a stationary distribution exists. The second smallest eigenvector can be used to partition the graph into clusters, via spectral clustering. Other methods are also available for clustering. Basic reproduction number The basic reproduction number R 0 Display style R underscore zero is a fundamental number in the study of how infectious diseases spread. If one infectious person is put into a population of completely susceptible people, then R zero display style R underscore zero is the average number of people that one typical infectious person will infect. The generation time of an infection is the time T G display style T underscore G from one person becoming infected to the next person becoming infected. In a heterogeneous population, the next generation matrix defines how many people in the population will become infected after time T G display style t underscore G has passed R 0 display style R underscore 0 is then the largest eigenvalue of the next generation matrix topic see also Anti-eigenvalue theory Eigenoperator Eigenplane Eigenvalue algorithm Introduction to eigenstates Jordan normal form List of numerical analysis software Nonlinear eigenproblem Quadratic eigenvalue problem Singular value Topic Footnotes Equals equals notes <laughs>